a taste of a Mexican fiesta with my hot sizzling chicken fajitas. The soft little tortillas, the salsa, the sizzling peppers and chicken, the refried beans and rice. It's a real eating experience. These lovely fajitas are bursting with fun flavors. Smoky, juicy chicken and beautifully charred veg. Served with a wicked ancho chili salsa for a seriously delicious Mexican kick. Plus my rice and crispy spice refried beans. All wrapped up in a lovely soft tortilla. A great dish for family and friends to get stuck into. Just 15 minutes is all you need to get this Mexican party started. So I'm gonna kind of start at the end, but at the start on this one, I'm gonna do the salsa first. And there's a reason for that, because at the basis of that beautiful salsa is my friend here. This ugly friend is called an ancho chili, okay? Maybe disregarded by the Brits at the moment, but this is highly regarded by the Mexicans. It's been slowly sun-dried, Right, but these have got incredible, robust flavour, uh, sort of like, I don't know, sort of cherry, cokey type flavours going on in here. I can't really put my head around it, but it makes salsa really, really good. So we're going to start in our liquidizer. I just want to slice up this ancho and make it a little smaller. So just cut it into little chunks like this, just to sort of get it finer and smaller. And then we put this ancho into the liquidizer. I want to put a little swig of boiling water in here and immediately you'll see the colour change around that chilli. If you can't find ancho chilli, then you could use smoked chipotle chilli, which you should be able to find in most big supermarkets. So that's going to rehydrate in the bottom of this liquidizer. I'm going to go straight in with two spring onions, OK? A couple of tomatoes, just quarter them or put them in whole. Doesn't really matter. They'll get going. One fresh chilli here. Just crack that in as well. A little bunch of coriander, leaves, stalks, all of that goes in. We're going to go a tablespoon of soya sauce, not classic, but still regarded in many, many countries as a brilliant way to season. It's not just salt, it's much, much more. So I'm using that little trick there as well. And then a clove of garlic, I'm just going to take the skin off. And that little hum of garlic is going to be beautiful. Acid in a salsa is really, really important. Uh, first part is balsamic vinegar. Of course, completely unclassic, but it works, bear with me. About a tablespoon or two. And then citrus. You want one or two limes, just roll it, half it, and we go straight in with that lime. Really fresh. So I'm just going to put the lid on and do nothing. I'm going to let those ancho chilies just rehydrate and plump up in the next couple of minutes. So, next, peppers. Dead simple. Just tear this up, erratic, fast. Just get it going, get it in there. And my third little friend in that griddle pan is a red onion. Take the ends off, like that, and then we half it and we quarter it. Then what will happen is, as you get that red onion, you can take it apart like little petals. We do want to season with salt and pepper from a height. Really important to get the salt into the inner workings of that pepper so it's not just bland old veggies. You want to get that, that griddle pan screaming hot, never any oil. That veg should be perfectly charred in about 10 minutes. Just give them a little shake every now and again. Next job, the chicken. I want tender, juicy strips with some seriously sizzling, smoky flavours. What I'm going to do is season this up with salt and pepper and then smoked paprika, about a heaped teaspoon. Look at the colour. Uh, you've got smoky sweetness in here. So we're really going for the chilies, the smoked chilies, the dry chilies. Really, really good. Don't think I'm going mental on chilli. I'm really not. The ancho, not hot. The pa this paprika, not hot. So once you've seasoned it all up here, got all that seasoning on the top and bottom, I want you to just fold that other bit of greaseproof over and just give it a light tap. So you're tenderising it and absolutely bashing that wonderful smoked paprika into the chicken, no mucking about. And look how gorgeous that looks. Uh, okay, one tablespoon of olive oil goes in. Then we're going to go in with our lovely chicken. Look at the colour of that chicken. You know it's going to taste good before you've even cooked it. So swirl that olive oil around and we go straight in like that. Okay, that'll start frying pretty quick. 
Okay, the chicken's looking good. The colour's coming out of that paprika already. The veggies are good. Just keep giving them a little shake. Don't be afraid to go back to them and take care of them. Love them, do you know what I mean? And if it's looking too charred, we just take them off. It's all good. Leave your chicken to sizzle for about three or four minutes before you turn it. Now I want to create some seriously tasty crispy skin beans to serve with the rice. Let's talk about beans. Beans in Britain aren't particularly... And baked beans, yeah, fine. Park that, we love all that. But beans, other uses of beans, multiple recipes for beans. You know, Europe goes mad about them. They've got a billion recipes. South America, the same as. Um, so I'm trying to create something a bit different here, like a, a texture with beans to make us Brits just love them even more, almost like popcorn. So what I want is a tin of mixed beans, OK? In here is bolotti beans. We've got um, cannellini beans. I'm just going to peel it and I'm going to drain it. I'm actually even going to run a little cold water over it as well, just to get rid of all the starchy sauce, and we bring it over here. So, in our pan here, bearing in mind this is quite hot now, this has been on, it's on a medium heat, right, we're going to go in with one tablespoon of oil to the pan, right? Then, these got a bit of water on, so it's going to spit and stuff straight in, right? Now, you've got... Notice that in the pan, they're not all on top of each other, it's almost like one layer. So we have a little shaky, shaky woo-woo. They're going to start popping. They're going to burst. The outer skin is going to go... and go really crispy, and it's going to be delicious. So we've got the beans going. Let's just look what's going on here. Let's turn the chicken. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and charred, golden, beautiful. Turn over that chicken. These veggies... These are pretty good, so keep an eye on those. Now, these beans, if we look at this, if you just shake them, they're almost popping like popcorn. It's like pork scratchings on the skin. If you can get in there and have a little look, they actually, they're moving. They're like jumping beans, do you know what I mean? And it's the skin and the puff and the... It's the fluffy insides coming out and the crispy outsides. Really, really nice. Something I like to do just to accent the beans, because at the moment they're just straight fried tin beans, and that's not really what we want to go into, right? A little pinch of cumin, OK? Just a pinch. It's going to start mixing with the oils in there. I can smell it already. That little pinch just makes that little difference. I can leave those beans crisping up while I get back to the salsa, as that dried ancho chilli will have rehydrated and we're good to go. So, this beautiful salsa here just needs turning on. I want it quite fine. You could have it chunky, but notice the balsamic and the ancho chili is making it quite a sort of chocolatey colour. But look at everything around us right now. We've got salsa going on, we've got popping beans, we've got the chicken looking gorgeous, veggies. Now we need tortilla and some rice for those beans. So I'm going to get myself some rice and some tortillas. Let's top this horrible noise. Oh, what a relief. But let's have a taste first, come on. Oh. Delish. Salsa is done. So, in these beans, I want to get some rice. Now, I want to use whole grain rice. That would normally take 20 minutes. So, a brilliant cheat for 15-minute meals is getting some of these rice. Like, it's all pre-cooked. Now, at this point, this rice, you know, needs bringing back to life. The way I do that is by getting some lemon, the juice of a whole lemon, and squeezing that into my hands like that. The lemon juice goes in, just stir it up, and I'm going to turn that pan right down now. So we'll just shake those really good. The chicken is done. Just put that on a board. Look how dark and lovely that is. And any goodness, just pour on top like that. Look at that. Can you hear that? That's what we want. So that's your cue to serve. Lift out that lovely charred veg onto a board. Now grab four wholemeal tortillas and put them into the pan. And in about 20 seconds, they'll just be warm and hot and malleable and soft and squidgy, right? So in that time, what I want to do is slice up this chicken. And I want to go about centimetre slices. You can see the attitude that we've created on the outside, but also on the inside, it's white, juicy, it's actually shining. It's so gorgeous. And then, of course, last but not least, my salsa. It's dark. 
a little bit mysterious, but my God, whatever you put that on is phenomenal. It almost looks like chocolate, look at it. Place your warmed up tortillas onto the side, sprinkle over some coriander, and crumble over 20 grams of gorgeous feta cheese. And a little goes such a long way, and it's like a beautiful bit of color, but also seasoning. And for a burst of freshness, finish with some zero fat yogurt. If you load up a tortilla, salsa, yogurt, feta, the rice, you know, get that in there, the chicken, roll it up, that is gonna be fantastic. This one's a real crowd pleaser. Just 15 minutes and you're ready to roll. A little roll up. Oh. Mm. oh man, that salsa is off the chart. And it's ugly, it's ugly salsa. You, uh, you're ugly, but it, my God, it tastes good. It all works. What a joy. Fajitas, man. Who doesn't love them?